Let's start with the fungi, which include yeasts and molds. Fungi can be large multicellular critters such as mushrooms. Our focus here will be the tinier multicellular or single cell organisms. These hardy microbes live virtually everywhere, including on our skin, in our water, in the soil, in our air, and on just about every surface imaginable. They can also be quite stunning, as you can see here in this image of the slime mold. Many fungi are hydrophilic, which means they are water loving. Moisture is thus a friend to many fungi, including many species of molds, as we see on the walls of the moist part of the building. For this reason, we often see molds build up in bathrooms, basements, and other moist environments. Yeast can also be nutritious, as many produce an array of nutrients, including B vitamins. Brewer's yeast is a good example of this. Saccharomyces cerevisiae is one of the best sources of natural B vitamins, and this is why many supplements utilize B vitamins made from yeast. Many yeasts also provide fermentation cultures for baking purposes. Here we see a loaf of sourdough bread. Sourdough bread typically uses a mixture of yeasts including Saccharomyces species and Lactobacilli. Normal bread baking yeast will contain Saccharomyces species without any Lactobacilli. Other species of yeast can be infected but only when and if they outgrow their normal populations and overgrow other colonies of microbes. All of this will host Candida for example. But should our microbes that normally control and balance Candida's populations become depleted, Candida can become infected and pathogenic.